Thanks for stopping by today to check out my kit review over the Dragon 135 scale SD KFC 251 17, the OS D variant with the two centimeter, uh, forgive my butchering, but the Schwebe Lafte, however you pronounce that. Uh, which, according to Google Translate, by the way, means uh, fo floating tray. Floating tray. So I'm not sure how accurate that is, uh, but that's what we're going to go with today. So this is a 1 in 35 scale. Um, German armored fighting vehicle model kit uh, from Dragon. Uh, it's in their 39 to 45 series, so the World War II series. And if you know, Dragon does a lot, a lot of uh, SDK and Zs, a lot of 251s. And I picked this one up from a friend of mine, and I'm about to build it, and I figured, you know what, I might as well do a kit review. So here we are. Uh, so let's get right into it. The box art, which is something not a lot of people know about this exact kit. This is depicting an actual battle scene. You can go onto Google uh, and look up the, let's see, the Battle of the Bulge. Uh, the Fuel Grenadier Brigade at Luxembourg, December 24th, 1944. They made a very poor attack on an American-held village at Luxembourg, in Luxembourg, and uh, it failed. And there's a picture of this the, the Stug and the 251 destroyed in the field. It's, uh, it really brings to life because they got all the, all the background buildings right and everything else like that. So it helps me appreciate this even more. Uh, so let's go start with the bottom. It shows you some painting measures to do for the uh, 2100 version, which was at the Battle of Luxembourg. Uh, it comes with a bonus driver, brass, with indicator rods and shows you some other neat stuff you can use as well as your uh, decal sheet top side shows you the rest of what uh, comes with extra and all the goodies inside talking about the gun the ammo holsters the uh, bonus photo etch gun shield the link it the or the little link tracks how to put those together all the fun stuff and the sides are just your normal Dragon um, 99 or 39 to 45 series stuff. So uh, let's open her up. So first thing, like in most model kits, you have your instruction pamphlet, which has the box art up front, as well as your sprues and shows you letter by letter and what all you get. I'm gonna flip through this real quick. So if you'd like to pause and read as I go through, go right on ahead. I'm gonna try to get th through this kind of fast. Lots of sprues to go over. But really detailed kit. I'm really looking forward to building this up. I'm doing this for the Micro Machines Battle of the Bulge group build. If you haven't heard about that, uh, go check out my channel. It's the posted video there. Uh, and then at the end, you know, 20 steps. And then it shows you some marking and decal or marking and painting for decals and how to paint your vehicle in different, uh, you know, unidentified unit, Yugoslavia, Germany, Belgium, and then the Fuhrer Grenadier Brigade at Luxembourg, as well as the uh, 12th Panzer Division, the Hitler Youth Division in 44, uh, the Czechoslovakia, you know, Hungary, unidentified. Lots of, you know, lots of options with this one. Uh, next, you get this uh, Dragon, the Easy Tracks that come with this. Uh, you don't have to use these. I will be, because I personally hate cutting out individual track links. Uh, I've heard these are really good. Some of the best ones out there to use are the Easy Link Tracks by Dragon. Then it has the Photo Etch and a little rubber uh, tarp you can use, the decals, and this, uh, this brass shield is encased in hard plastic so you don't bend and break it there's your driver more decals and photo wedge back there so it's a nice addition then you get down to the original sprues so let's see use my little exacto blade here cut this open okay sorry about that had some uh, difficulty getting that open but here we have sprue d there's two of them and let me tell you, there are a bunch of these Car 98K rifles. You got three right there, four, 
four alone on one sprue. So that's a total of eight Car 98K rifles already out of just two sprues. But let you take a look at that real fast. As well as some of that piece is buttoned off. Here we go. The next you have sprue K. Looks like this has a lot of the interior ammo storage as well as the original gun shield for the two centimeter auto gun. This is going to be really fun to do. It's got all those extra ammo casings and then the storage bins for it, seats and all sorts of other stuff. Next you have the uh, wheels, the tires and the original track links that came with the original version of this kit. Like I said before, I the only reason I will use these is to make extra links for armor on the 251. But not half bad at all, even with these individual link tracks, they look very well done. I really don't see any flash on them, which is very nice. Just a pain in the butt to do because you got one, two, two pieces make one track link. So that's uh, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> then next you got sprue C. Looks like you got some interior parts. Uh, you got some MG34s over here. It's always a nice addition. You got two of them, parts of the motor, steering wheel. Looks like parts of the inside of the vehicle, the undercarriage. Real nice. Next, you got sprue B. This appears to be storage bins and the, uh, I don't know if it's the, on an AFV, if it's considered the upper hole or the upper chassis, or, you know, I don't know what you would want to call it, but uh, the up armored part, that would be covering the driver and passenger's heads. Got all the extra, uh, got the MZ42, which is nice. You got seats. Uh, looks like some kind of tow cables or hook cables. And you got some more of that, as well as that MG42 right there. And uh, oh, looks like I was wrong about that uh, last comment. So I'm not 100% confident on my uh, terminology when it comes to armored fighting vehicles. I'm more of a tank guy. But uh, looks very nice. This is Spruce A. That'll be your, I'm gonna call this the upper hole. <laughs> uh, it's like your floorboard, stowage bins, compartments, some tools. And you have your uh, your lower hole, I'm gonna call that, the uh, undercarriage, if you would. Now, if you wanna go belly up, very nice looking. You could definitely go belly up with this if you wanted to. And you got a couple more sprues here. Uh, let's see, it looks like seats in this one. Take a look at those, it has a mesh backing. That's really nice. And then it looks like uh, parts for the tarp maybe, the folded tarp, I'm not 100% sure. Or is that gonna be the mount for the machine gun? Not 100% positive. And, oh, last but not least, Jay uh, showing off our two centimeter auto cannon with some extra parts. I'm more than certain that'll be to build up that cannon. So, uh, good stuff, Dragon. Looking forward to building up oh, one more sprue. The, uh, the clear parts, look at that. Great stuff. So, looks like a lot of nice things from Dragon. I've heard a lot of good things about them. Uh, of course, every model kit has, their, has its flaws. But uh, this one looks pretty promising. I've had a buddy of mine, Floki's Models. If you haven't heard about him, go check him out. 
He's done a few of these Dragon 251s and his builds are amazing. A good inspiration if you uh, want to build a 251. He has a couple of videos going over that. So, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the review. Uh, if you guys are interested in that Battle of the Bulge group build, uh, this is going to be my entry. Like I said, go to my channel. It's the first pinned video there on the home on homepage. Uh, but this is what I'm going to be doing. It's going to be the Battle of the Bulge at the um, at Luxembourg, here in Luxembourg, the Fuhrer Grenadier Brigade, December 24th, 1944. They're going to be staged on a road, uh, getting ready to attack the town. And then I've got some resin figures from AliExpress that I need to assemble and paint uh, once this is built up a bit. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. Stay safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.